Good morning, my name is Reagan Murray and I'm a freshman here at Randolph-Macon College. Go Yellow Jackets. Um, today I will be taking you guys through a day in my life in January term. So I'm gonna let y'all know a little bit more about me. Like I said, I'm a freshman here at Randolph-Macon and I am a biology major on the pre-medical track. I'm a double minor in chemistry and gender sexuality and women's studies. Whenever I say that, some people turn their heads because they were like, how can you study both at the same time? They're so different. Um, but that is the beauty of going to a school like Randolph-Macon, a small liberal arts college. Um, Randolph-Macon allows you to study whatever your passions are, and that includes multiple of them at the same time and allows you to be successful in both of them. So that is what I'm studying. I am in Alpha Gamma Delta sorority on campus. I am the vice president of campus relations there. So I work with other organizations on campus and kind of keep us all connected. I am a student worker here as well. I work in the admissions office and I kind of just help out where it's needed there. I usually work around three days a week in the admissions office. And then I am also a part of two different clubs on campus. I am in Circle K, which is a national community service organization. And I'm also in Students for Environmental Action. So that's just a little snippet of what I do usually um, at Randolph-Macon. And I know a lot of y'all might be thinking, what in the heck is January term? So January term, which is also called J term by most students at Randolph-Macon, is basically like a third smaller semester that we do here. And it is just for the month of January. You start right in the beginning and then the semester ends at the end. And then you have a small break before spring semester. Um, and there are three options that you can do for January term. So your first option, which is what I'm doing this year, is an intensive study course. So we have classes that run during January term. It is usually you take one class, you can take more, um, but it is you go to one class and it is two hours a day, Monday through Friday. So you are in that class every single day, which is why we call it intensive. And then your other options are a study abroad course that you can go for just the month of January if you don't want to do an entire three to four month semester abroad. Or you can do an internship as well. So like I said, I chose option one, which is the intensive study course. And this J term, I am taking Sociology 217, which is called Social Problems. And basically, we're just learning about any problem that affects society in a big way delving deeper into its causes and possible solutions. And I'm also taking a physical education course. So at Randolph-Macon, if you are not a part of an athletic program, you are required to take two physical education courses. I took Zumba last semester and I absolutely loved it. So I signed up for bar class, which is like a mix of ballet and Pilates for this J term. So I'm going to just be showing you guys the rest of my day today. Um, I have not too much planned, but this is kind of just the very typical everyday routine that I've been doing. Um, so I'll recap a little bit of what I did in the morning. So I woke up around 8 a.m. and I got breakfast with two of my best friends, Sam and Madison. And then at breakfast, we ran into some of my other friends, Natalie and EJ. So I, I showed you all waving. Um, and yeah, so I basically try to go to get breakfast every single morning with my friends. It's just a great way to get me like woken up early in the morning, especially since my class is from 6 to 8 p.m. It can get pretty easy for me to try to sleep in, but I really like that morning routine. So I've been getting up and getting breakfast with them. Um, and then I just came back to my room and made my bed and got ready for the day. And now I will be working for a couple of hours. It is about 11.15 right now and I just logged out of work. So when it's work from home, it's kind of just whenever I finish my work, I'm done. So I was able to log out um, because I just 
finish everything. So that was really good. And now I am devoting this extra time that I have to doing my homework. Since my class ends at 8 p.m., I like to split my homework kind of into two different sections. So usually my homework is just reading a bunch of different articles and um, chapters in my textbook. And then I write about them, do like a little reflection homework for my professor. So yesterday I had my first exam in the class. And after that, I read the three articles. So it was two in my textbook and then one was an online article. And I took notes on those. And then today I will be doing the assignment, um, which is due at 6 p.m. So um, I'm going to try to finish it before 12. That is my hope. But basically for every article that I read, I have to write a thesis statement for it. And then I have to write a synthesis paragraph when um, I'm done all the thesis statements, just comparing and contrasting the readings as well as handwrite citations for them. So this shouldn't take me too long. I got a head start on it last night and I did all of my citations. So now it is just the writing part. All right, guys, so we just got lunch at Essie's. I'm with my two best friends. I'm CG. I'm Kira. And they're both on the swim team. So it's kind of hard to get dinner with them because they always have practice at like 5.30 and then I have class. So I try to get lunch with them. Okay guys, so we're making a quick pit stop to Target. My friend CJ needs gloves because she's from South Carolina and we're supposed to get a snowstorm. So she doesn't have like any warm clothes. So we're gonna go to Target and get her gloves. <laughs> Okay, so just a little update. It is like 3.55 right now, which means that I have five minutes until my first class of the night, which is my physical education class, like I was telling you guys about before. I'm taking bar. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of my setup because as of right now, we're still doing virtual classes, so we're not going into the gym. So this is my setup. I kind of just have my computer sitting here. Um which is on my dresser. And I do this because in bar, usually you hold on to a ballet bar for some balance. But since we're not in the gym, our instructor just recommended us using a chair or something kind of of equal height with our shoulders so we can hold on um, and help us balance during the workout. So I'm gonna record just a little bit of the workout for you guys, um, probably just the um, warm up part. So when we start, I'll show you guys a little bit of what we do. Oh my goodness, I think that was the hardest workout of my life. But seriously, if you guys are like wary to take a physical education course, take it like right now and take Zumba or Bar with Trista. She is so wonderful. I love her. She's like a second mom to me. She's so cool. I feel like I tell her everything. So working out is always so much fun because she's such a great instructor. All right, y'all, I'm headed over to my big storm right now. Um, I'm so excited. I haven't seen my big in so long. She and I went from seeing each other like every day to going on winter break and not seeing each other since we came back. So it was due for a dinner date. <laughs> so we're doing Estes and I think I see her walking down the stairs. Okay, Katie and I just finished dinner. This is my big, and she's walking me to my first in-person class for my sociology course. So I hope it goes well. Yay, yay. All right, y'all, I just got out of my first in-person class. It was really good. Unfortunately, I, shouldn't, I couldn't show you guys all of like the classrooms and stuff since we don't really go on our phones during class or anything, but it was good. We got out right at eight. So yeah, first in-person class was a success. All right, y'all, it's actually kind of late at night. It's around 10, but my friend just had a test to study for and I offered to kind of be her study buddy and help her out with it. So I just went over all of her stuff and tested her a little bit. So she's prepared. 
But now I'm just heading back up to my room, wrapping up the night because it is a little bit late and I still have some stuff to do tomorrow and some homework that I want to get started. So it is definitely time for me to kind of end my night and get all ready for bed. All right, so it is officially time for me to get to bed, but I just wanted to say that it has been so fun taking y'all along for a day in my life in January term. I really enjoyed showing you guys both of my classes and some of my friends and kind of just the typical day for me for this month. Um, so yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope this gave you a little bit better insight into what January term is here at Randolph-Macon. So like always, go Yellow Jackets and um, I'll see y'all later.